Number three, bless him for forgiving your iniquities. The passage that we read in verse three, say, bless the Lord who forgiveth all thy iniquities. If God were to be like us, all of us would have died. Hello? Some of you, they say, I forgive them. They say, lie, lie, I would never forgive them. Really? If God is to act like that, you will have died a long time ago. Is there anyone here that has not committed sin in their life? You have never lied before, never cheated before, never taught any evil before. You are like the Holy Spirit. Let me see that hand up. The Bible says, if God were to mark iniquity, who can stand? But the reality of it, every one of us were existing because of the mercy of God. That's why you will see Jesus. He doesn't condemn people. He helps them and say, do it no no more. But the rest of us, we are always too quick to think that we are good. You are alive not because of your righteousness. Hello? You are alive not because of your righteousness. You are alive because of his mercy. Is somebody grateful to God? Most of the people in the Bible that we are thinking of them now and using them to strengthen our faith, they were all terrible sinners whom God had mercy on. David, the, the David that we all, we all talk about, David killed. David committed adultery. David lied. But the mercy of God cleansed him. Apostle Paul, <laughs> Apostle Paul was the supervisor on the day they were killing Stephen. He was the one who supervised the murder. And yet God had mercy on him. You are alive, seated now, not because you are righteous, but because of the mercy of God. I pray for you. May that mercy never depart from you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, may that mercy never depart from you in the mighty name of Jesus.